How's it going, everyone? As always, God bless you. Thank you for being here. I'm Gage, and this is Candy Curl Aquatics. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. This is where I talk about all things reefing, but more importantly, where I share the information I've gathered on my tank with you guys to help you become better hobbyists at the hobby we call reefing. Today, guys, I got a shipment in the mail from Bulk Reef Supply, so I just wanted to show you some of the things that I am getting to uh, add to the tank. Small disclaimer, my son is in the background playing, so I apologize if, you know, you hear him playing and the noise that's in the background. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I am not gonna go over too much of like why I got each product, but uh, you know I will do some product spotlights in another video. So if you guys are curious about some of the stuff coming out of this box, I will be making product spotlights later on, telling you guys exactly why I got the products that I got. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing up is some reef spec carbon by Red Sea. Went and picked up some of these by Ocean Wonders. They are three inch coral frag tiles. Pretty straightforward, you guys know what those are for. I'll explain more about what I'm gonna do with those later on though. Went ahead and picked up some of these, some marine pure gems. So basically, this is going to provide a ton more surface area for live bacteria to grow. I plan on putting those. I plan on sorry. <laughs> I plan on putting those inside of my canister filter. We got some microbacter clean. So I am struggling a little bit with some green hair algae, and this says that it eradicates multiple kinds of algae, including green hair algae. I got some Lugal Solution. So if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know that I highly recommend iodine in any aquarium, especially when you're dealing with zooxanthellae, or excuse me, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say zoas, zoas and paleothoa. So I actually put out a video a while back on how I achieved the amazing growth and coloration that I did in my zoas uh, and my pallies, and it actually has a lot to do with the Lugal Solution. And then I got some Flux RX, which is, let me see if I can get you the more descriptive, uh, basically it's, it's, it's flucosinol, uh, if I remember correctly. Again, this is used to treat green hair algae. So it's actually traditionally used to treat like bacterial infections in fish, but its side effect is that it completely destroys green hair algae and bryopsis. There's not a lot out there that'll actually get rid of bryopsis. So if you're having an issue with bryopsis or green hair algae, Flux RX is recommended. It is reef safe. Um, I have heard from previous videos that I found on YouTube that they did have, uh, you know, once in a while, certain people did have a little bit of coral stress when adding this. I'm not 100% sure if anything died or not, but uh, it is listed as reef safe. But there have been a few reports that it can be stressful for coral. In my situation, I don't have any coral in the tank at all, so this is going to be perfectly fine for me to get rid of the green hair algae that I have currently. My nitrates and phosphates are reading zero. I know it's because the algae is eating them up, but I've been doing a really good job at actually like over skimming, like like more protein skimming, better filtration, keeping up on stuff, and reducing my feeding. So I do know that my nutrients are actually very low in my tank. I just can't seem to fully get rid of this green hair algae. It's it's a lot better than what it was. But it's still, uh, there's still too much in there for my liking. Uh, I mean, I don't want to have any. But I think that at this point in time, there's too much to even add coral. So I really need to get rid of it. So hopefully the Flux RX and the Microbacter uh, Clean will actually help me to be able to do that. All right, so now it's time for the big one. This is the Radeon XR30 Blue from Ecotech. This is their G6. This, I mean, this puppy just came out. So I'm really, really excited to actually get this hooked up on the tank. I've never, I've never had Radions before. They were always out of my budget, but uh, yeah. So here it is, the Radeon XR30 Blue G6. I will be doing a complete full review on this. Based on what I've seen so far, this is a absolutely amazing, I mean, amazing pretty unbelievable really uh light 
we'll go into more detail as to why that's such why I'm making that bold statement. But it is, yeah, it's insane. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, there is the mounting bracket required for the XR30. So uh, upon doing a little bit more research, I found out that because I have a 60-gallon cube, it's 24 by 24 by 24, I could have actually gone with the XR15, which would have saved me money. I did not know that at the time. I should have maybe done a little bit more investment, but or excuse me, a little bit more investigation. But it's okay that 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 extra investment that I put into the XR30, uh, it's it's just that much more powerful. It's it's that much more light, if you will. Um, one XR30 will actually light a four foot by four foot area, which is insane, absolutely insane. So right now on my tank, I actually am running two Hydra 26 HDs. So to go from two lights to one light, and uh, this light being capable of actually illuminating two foot more than the tank that I have currently, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty incredible. I don't want to give too much away. I will be showing you guys some readings. Um, I don't have a par meter, but uh, there are charts and things that I can pull up for you guys that I can actually show you how amazing this XR30 light is, this, this G6 Radeon. It's insane. Uh, those of you that are watching this, if you have G5s right now, they do make a upgrade kit so that you don't have to go out and buy a whole new light. They do make an upgrade panel that will upgrade you from the G5 to the G6 because the G5 and the, G, and the G6 have the same footprint. Uh, they just they just sell an upgraded kit. Basically, you take the light apart, you install a different like motherboard module, like LED system kind of thing, if you will, and uh, that will upgrade you to the G6. So if you have G5s, you can upgrade to the G6s. Um, I want to say it'll run you just shy of four hundred dollars. It's like three hundred and some bucks to do. The XR30 light um, will. We'll talk about how much it is in a different video. But anyways, guys, until next time, take care. God bless. That's what I got on the tank. We'll do some spotlight reviews um, on the actual individual products as we continue. But I know that most of you are, you know, the other stuff is pretty straightforward. But uh, I know the biggest thing that you guys are going to be curious of is, is that light. So we'll probably come out with that first. Until next time, guys, take care. God bless. Thanks.